City Morning Show. A pleasant good morning and welcome to the Sugar City Morning Show. This is your Tuesday morning edition of the Sugar City Morning Show. It is a pleasure without no measure to be here in your company. First and foremost, I want to say thank God it is another beautiful day. I'm truly blessed to be here. My name is Dylan Jones and it gives me great pleasure without no measure to serve you all every day, any day as we come here inside the studio. You want to say good morning to Emmanuel Martinez? And good morning to you and good morning to all the beautiful people in Belize watching us or listening to us. Good morning. Blessed Buenos morning, days. blessed morning. Boy. It's a oh, yeah, I got, if you I, I come into the office this morning like Pollo Mojada because just as I was coming, uh -huh. getting here, it started to drizzle. Experience is crazy, right? Yes, yes. I, was, I heard it behind me, coming, you know? And I was speeding up. But just, just right around here, about maybe 100 yards from here. Still catch you. You still catch me. So we call a mother nature caught up with you? Yes. <coughs> Couldn't get the financial. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, yeah, the two or the sick as I was, uh, let me see, I was, at that moment, I was at the breakfast table. Mm -hmm. When I heard the little rain, I said, wow, this is, mm -hmm. you know? And it rained before the LS morning too, so. Yes. You saw where they get it on and off mm -hmm. inland, you know. But let us check in with the weather report. And and oh, before we do the weather report, we gotta um go into a prayer. Sorry, no, we, we can't we can't begin oh, our yes. program. Thank you for reminding prayer. me. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it's a part of the show. And yes. also I think that a lot of people are looking Look forward, forward to that. They tell prayer, me. Emmanuel um this is a form of buena para empezar nuestro día. Reconociendo y agradeciendo. And I say, digo reconociendo, <coughs> because muchas veces estás nada más sacando palabras de tu boca y no sabes a quién le estás agradeciendo. Hay que reconocer a quién le estás agradeciendo. Es nuestro Dios, nuestro Creador. Y de Él vienen todas las bendiciones. Y mientras que tú reconozcas que de Él vienen las bendiciones, pues a Él le vas a agradecer. ¿Ok? Y, y uh, muchas personas pues somos muy religiosos y agradecemos a este y al otro y a tal y a fulanito y a fulanita pero hay que agradecerle a un Dios nada más por todo Padre te damos las gracias por tus bendiciones te damos las gracias por tu amor que tienes para nosotros porque dentro de ese amor que tienes para nosotros nos das la vida, la buena salud nos das las fuerzas nos das las experiencias que sirven como oportunidad de crecimiento para todos nosotros, mientras que tengamos la conciencia de ello. Padre, te doy las gracias por tu perdón que nos ofreces absolutamente gratis, si así lo queremos. Te damos las gracias por la protección que nos das, nos guías, nos cuidas, nos enseñas, Padre. Gracias por las enseñanzas. Padre, también te agradezco todo lo que haces por mis familiares, por mis, mis amistades, por mis compañeros de trabajo. Padre, gracias. Te pido que, por favor, continúes dándonos estas bendiciones, que ayudes como siempre a aquellas personas que están pasando por tiempos difíciles, a aquellas personas enfermas, siempre recordándose de ellos, a aquellas personas que están en hospitales, a aquellas personas que necesitan de, de, de ayuda eh, espiritual, ayuda eh, emocional, porque están pasando por tiempos difíciles, Padre. Guíalos que lo puedan encontrar esa ayuda, que puedan con, eh, consolarse y que puedan ser confortados. Padre, por todos nosotros te pedimos que hoy tengamos un bonito día, exitoso, fructífero, que podamos utilizar todos los, los dones y los... los las bendiciones que tú nos das para el bienestar de la humanidad. Gracias, Padre, te bendecimos, te glorificamos, te adoramos siempre. Amén. Amén. It's 707 and we want to get right into our weather report today. And it says here the weather report for today, the 27th of September 2016. It says here a relative the general situation a relatively dry easterly to southeasterly airflow will prevail during the next couple of days. 
24 forecast this is sunny with a few cloudy spells today and partly cloudy tonight except for a few showers and thunderstorms accepting affecting sorry some portions of the country this morning and the southern areas tonight general fair weather is expected winds will be blowing east to southeast at 10 to 20 knots sea state choppy to moderate there's no weather advice you out for the weather outlook is so mainly fair weather expected on Wednesday, followed by an increase in showers on Thursday, an in increase in showers and thunderstorms, mainly along coastal areas late Wednesday night into Thursday. The temperatures on the highs on the coast today will be 31 degrees Celsius, 88 degrees Fahrenheit inland, 34 degrees Celsius, 93 degrees Fahrenheit, and in the hills, 27 degrees Celsius, 81 degrees Fahrenheit. The lows for tonight on the coast, 27 degrees Celsius, 81 degrees Fahrenheit. Inland, 23 degrees Celsius, 74 degrees Fahrenheit. And in the hills, 20 degrees Celsius, 68 degrees Fahrenheit. The tides, there will be a high tide at 7.35 a.m. and a low at 1.58 p.m. And for tomorrow, Wednesday, there will be a high at 8.36 p.m. and a low at 1.54 a.m. And the sunrise at tomorrow, the sun will rise at 5.43 a.m. And the sun will set at 5.44 p.m. And the moon will rise for tomorrow, Wednesday, at 3.43 a.m. And the moon will set at 3.44 p.m. And we want to thank weather forecast uh, for R. Gordon for posting up the weather report. We're going to go to Emmanuel to bring us this weather report in Spanish para la gente que habla España. Exactamente. La gente de habla hispana. Hispania. Okay. Hispana. 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 Just like a hispana. <laughs> okay. Are we hispana? Are we hispana? Habla hispana. All right, sir. Muy buenos días, compañeros. Un gusto saludarles hoy por la mañana. Una mañana lluviosa aquí en Orange Walk. Eh, no por decir lluviosa, porque no es como si estuviera lloviendo pesado. Pero si estuviste despierto... Desde temprano te hubieras dado cuenta de que sí estaba lloviendo temprano por la madrugada, por la mañana. Y uh, como antes de las 7, como las 6 y media, llovió tantito otra vez. No pesado, pero se supone que vamos a tener tantito de lluvias hoy. Bueno, pero no vamos a adelantarnos. Vamos a leer el reporte del tiempo para hoy, martes 27 de septiembre. Y si hoy cumples años, felicidades. Y si hoy eh, estás festejando tu aniversario, también te felicito. Muchas felicidades y ojalá y, y pases a uh, muchos, pero muchos, muchos más. Este reporte se generó a las 6 de la mañana. Indica que um, un flujo de aire proveniente del este y un flujo de aire relativamente seco proveniendo del este y del sureste va a estar predominando y controlando nuestro clima sobre los siguientes dos días. Eh, para las siguientes 24 horas, en definido, soleado con algunos periodos de nubosidad hoy y parcialmente nublado hoy por la noche, excepto, por, excepto vamos a tener unos chubazos de tormentas afectando algunas porciones del país esta mañana y en áreas del sur hoy por la noche. Um, pero aparte de eso, se espera buen tiempo. Así que, ¿sabes? se espera unos chubasquitos hoy por la mañana eh, y por la noche, las áreas del sur por la noche. Así que, pues no se está, no se está eh, pronosticando grandes lluvias ni grandes tormentas. Así que, pues, gracias a Dios, está tantito mejor. Los vientos del este sudeste de 10 a 20 nudos, el estado del mar agitado moderado, aún así no hay ninguna advertencia. Nada más una notita aquí, se supo que el sistema que está en el Atlántico, al, al que todos querían de, de saber cómo vamos con ese, ese sistema, pues sí va a entrar al área del Caribe, pero está puesto para irse para arriba, al norte. Pero, como dijo correctamente el doctor uh, Jeff de Weather on the Ground, 
uno nunca sabe. Así que siempre tienes que darle mucha, mucha, prestarle mucha atención a este tipo de sistema. Puesto que ahora las condiciones están perfectas para su desarrollo. Para eh, mañana, se espera que tengamos buen tiempo, mañana miércoles. Eh, entonces, um, por la noche sí vamos a tener aumento de tormentas y, y, y lluvias y tormentas por las áreas costeras, eh, por la noche miércoles, hasta entrar el jueves. Así que sí, va a quedar un poquito más lluvioso ya miércoles por la noche, entrando el jueves. Las temperaturas, las altas por la costa 88, en el interior 93, por las colinas 81 grados. Las bajas por la costa 81, en el interior 74 grados Fahrenheit, y por las colinas 68 grados. Perdón. Las mareas, una marea alta, en realidad entre 22 minutos a las 7.35, una marea baja a las 1.58 minutos hoy por la tarde, seguido por una marea alta, otra marea alta a las 8.36 hoy por la noche, y seguido por otra marea baja a las 1.54 minutos mañana por la madrugada. Compañeros, el sol se oculta hoy a las 5.44. El sol sale mañana a las 5.43 de la mañana. Eh, si estamos viendo, estamos llegando al punto de equilibrio. Casi 5.43, 5.44. Casi 12 horas, 12 horas. 12 horas de claridad, 12 horas de oscuridad. Y de ahora en adelante va a oscurecer. Uh, vamos a tener menos horas de claridad hasta llegar el 21 de diciembre. Cuando llega a su cumbre eso, y luego entonces el ciclo empieza de nuevo. La luna sale a las 3.43, perdón, la luna se oculta, a las 3.44 hoy por la tarde, y sale a las 3.43 eh, mañana por la madrugada. Y le damos las gracias a Gordon, Forecaster Gordon, por esta información, y a nuestros patrocinadores, German Reagan Sons, el honorable Gaspar Vega, Hungryman Barbecue, Aqualife Water, Albion's Bus, Albion's Transportation, y Youth Connection Band. Youth Connection Band. Right. Y a esta, esta, esta estación de televisión también. Así que compañeros, son las 7 y cuarto. We are going to jump right into our, <coughs> our sports report for the week. The, okay. the, 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 the calm results mm -hmm. of last games played in San Jose football field. The first match that was played at 1 p.m. saw Barrio Boys versus San Jose FC, which San Jose FC fell to Barrio Boys at a 3-2 game. Um, for San Jose FC, Edgar Cardenas scored the two goals. And for Barrio Boys, we had Nelson Estrada scoring one goal and Gabriel Perez scoring two goals. So that put them 3 3 over 2, um, and San Jose FC fell to Barrio Boys. And at 3 o'clock, the 3 p.m. game was saw in action, Child Farm, Herbalife with uh, United Ballers, and they both ended up in a 1-1 steel meet. That's a draw, goal by Evan Reynolds and Aldo, an auto goal, sorry, that was an auto goal. Um, so that was a 1-1 match. And the 5 p.m. match, the main event for the day, saw San Luis versus San Jose Earthquake. Apparently, the San Luis Saints calmed down the Earthquake with a 2 to nothing ball game. And the two goals scored by Martin Novella from San Luis. So that's the result for the Vegas Cup tournament that was played this Sunday at the San Jose football field. Um, a little bit later on in the week, we're going to have this week's schedule for you of the where and who will be playing. But once again, congratulations to the players. And reminding you that this game is sponsored by Honorable Gaspar Vega, a representative of Orange Walk North. It's 17 after 7 o'clock. We take a commercial break and we'll be right back with more for you on the Sugar City Morning Show. When was the last time you got anything free? Well, with Digicel's new improved combo plans, now everyone talks free. With free talk in every plan and even more data for the same low monthly price. 
I mean, who doesn't love free? Free Sundays with our light plan. Free weekends with our plus plan. Free nights, weekends, and free calls to your circle with our elite and max plans. And even more free 4G data in our light, plus, and elite plans. Don't have a plan? It's easier than ever with low or no deposit for qualifying customers. Still the best plans in the country. Come in and start getting more. Expect more, get more. Always more with Digiso. Busta. They see you and how you're living. Busta. Always a star. Yes, you live in color to the limit. Busta. Large and in charge. <laughs> yes, that's why you rock with Busta. Busta. Refreshing range of colorful flavors. Always a star, never the audience. You run things, things never run yours. Busta. Yes, you are. The life of it, not just a part of it. Your life is never black and white. Live in full color. Busta. <laughs> you know your baby is happy when wearing baby pampers. Baby pampers. In all sizes. Baby pampers make your baby happy. Available at German Vega and Sun. Mr. Bresenio claims that he wants to imprison anyone named in immigration wrongdoing. Once we get into government, we are going to go through this and anybody that can be held yeah. criminally liable, we are going to hold them liable yeah. and if they have to go to jail, yeah. they are yeah. going to go yeah. to jail. Yeah. Is it not? Is it not? But even government. your name is there. Yeah, I signed I for, for recommending a visa. Ooh. I signed It's an international person. I can't remember. I have but it's there in the visa one. That's my point. It's in the visa. One. So, uh, I think that's. I saw it once. I saw it. I saw it. I did not. I don't remember ever. Please, so many pitch. Are Johnny and the PUP ready to lead? Let's get ready to rumble. Get serious, get bop. Johnny Briseño and the PUP went to Bamopan to declare all their assets to the National Assembly. But did they declare everything? Yes, Johnny, bring back the people's money. Already a hotspot for commercial activities, entertainment, and recreation, Belize City will have a massive upgrade with the construction of the $30 million Belize City Center multi purpose facility by the government of Belize. The idea is that it will be a multi-purpose facility with the emphasis on court sports for the country but with the ability to branch out of course into entertainment and other cultural venues that we would like to see happen within the city of Belize and to also promote throughout the country of Belize other entertainment. Upon completion, the facility will have 4,500 individually molded seats, three wooden courts, four locker rooms, and many other new and exciting amenities for sports and entertainment. The government of Belize is committed to the infrastructural development of not only our cities, but of our country. Your vision. Our mission. The Barrow administration has put mechanisms in place to weed out wrongdoing in the Immigration Department. But let us examine what occurred during the PUP tenure. 
When in September 22, 1992, the permanent secretary in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs was instructed by Syed Musa to write to the Director of Immigration and approve 254 nationality certificates with no oversight, waiving all fees. The certificates bore no photograph of the applicant and there was no record of swearing in an oath having been taken. In several other instances, Syed Musa was written to requesting the waiver of the procedures and fees of many persons applying for nationality. They gave away millions of dollars in revenue belonging to the government of Belize. Welcome back to the Sugar City Morning Show, 723 Emmanuel inside our studios. And we keeping a careful watch on the, or should I say we're still on the, we know officially know that the union has set out the 3rd of October for their, what do you call it, industrial action. Shike. And it's unfortunate. Yeah. Yesterday they had meetings and I think all across the country they had meetings. But I understand that some teachers are a bit upset because the decision to strike was already made. Was. Already made. Mm -hmm. And they just had a meeting yesterday. And he claims that the Council of Management decides for the, the, the membership at large and that, that explains the reason why the following day, after the meeting with the Prime Minister on Thursday, mm -hmm. the following day, there was already a response. So, Although the promise had been that they were going to go back to their general membership. They never had to go back. They can make that decision right there the same night at the meeting. If, if, they, if the council just decide... Yeah, but they were requested to go to the general membership. But they, they didn't. That's the point I'm trying to make. They didn't. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. They claim they don't have to. They claim they don't have to. But yeah, because uh, um, Luke Palacio said after the meeting, he said, we are prepared to go back and discuss those responses and then determine what happens next. But then we don't know what they want to do before they go in the meeting. I... Uh, I, I don't know, I, I, I was doing, I sat down yesterday and I said, Emmanuel, you're getting yourself on a hot seat. Mm. Because we sounded to some people as if we were against Mr. the teacher. Right, right, right. And that is wrong. Right. That is not so. Right, just. I'll be the first to tell you that I congratulate the teachers in everything that they do. I mean, they, mm -hmm. are, they play a super important role in the development of this country. And I didn't really like, because if I were to read you some of the comments that people sent to us, you know, perhaps you would not be here this morning on the seat. Perhaps you'd say, Cho, I don't need that. Because some people can be very, very, very yeah. inconsiderate and very unfair. Tell me about it. Very unfair. And I tell you all about your granny and all about everybody else. <laughs> right? Because they very simply don't agree with you. And they don't know what is called the meaning of respect. Or agree to disagree. Or respect. Very simply respect. <coughs> you know? Mm -hmm. And um, not that I am going to be less vociferous about the whole thing. I think that at the end of the day, I decided that I'm going to stand for what I believe is wrong, I mean is right, and I'm going to, going to talk openly about what I believe is wrong. wrong. And I believe that the political interference that is going on, because I believe it is political, I don't think that there is, should be any one entity in this country that should hold the government at ransom. 
I'm telling yeah. you, you do this or else. Yeah. The, the, Who are you? The I government so. just won an election, an overwhelming so. victory, and you go tell me that you know you're gonna use the union for as much as the union may you you know it plays a vital role in representing. But for God's sake, but you mm -hmm. can't hold the government at ransom. True thing. Sugar City Morning Joe, hello. Uh, good morning, Mr. Delon. Morning, this morning. Is the chairman from Carmelita for the Water Board. Yes, sir. Uh, we just kindly make the um, customers get to know that the water is now good to use because yesterday we washed the tank and chlorinated the pipe and everything. <coughs> so okay. it's good to use now. They could start to use it. Carmelita and Tower Hill. Uh -huh, yeah, so, uh, Carmelita and Tower Hill. Yeah, both. All right, then. Thank good. you. Oh, okay, sir. But, but Emmanuel, you are so right because that's what it seems like, you know, that then they hold the government down. Mm -hmm. and, and, like, and like the Prime Minister said, and he perhaps he has his own way of speaking, and a lot of people don't really understand, you know. But Ablando al Grano, mm -hmm. you know, Ablando talking the real stuff, you know. He's questioning, look, Palacio, I mean, you can't hold we at ransom. We won this election. So a whole nation, a whole nation vote for you. So how the hell you and call and try to demand it, you know? And I think, I think that sometimes power gets the, gets the worst of us, shows the worst of us. Oh, how cruel I say power to get to the head, you know? I. People say it gets the best. No, it gets it shows the worst of us, because I'll be honest with you, you know, um, the prime minister says. Uh, let me let me just quickly tell you. Um, I don't think that. Well, I did, never mind that. But I agreed with the prime minister in that, and he has made. He has taken uh, ample time to sit down and discuss with Mr. Palacio these things. Now, it cannot be, Mr. Palacio, it cannot be that you can have your cake and eat it all by yourself all the time. There is a certain amount of flexibility when it comes to dialogue. Mm -hmm. You understand? And I gather that correctly said, Dylan, that some teachers are quite upset. Yeah, man, someone Talk upset. Talk to me more so, about that. Well, no, someone from through the grapevines, you understand, someone, you know, like the idea that... The decision uh, was taken for them. Not only that, but, you know, like the idea that the whole thing shift, that they never even tabled the 3% in their agenda with the Prime Minister. So you notice the teachers are supposed to be noticing that this is the political agenda yeah. of Luke Palacio. So and this is what we're talking about all the while. And how and the moment you remove yourself and tell Mr. Palacio, please, I don't depend for you timing. Then the, 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 the best it is for you. You know what I mean? Yeah, because that wasn't even discussed. I mean, the Prime Minister coming out in the meeting last week said, well, he can't go to everything, but then after when Luke, they fire back the letter, and then the Prime Minister have one speech out to try to see if we can show that on the show before we're done. Um, almost 10 minutes, so he kind of run down with Ghana and the meeting, and in a, in a nutshell, everything for them was no, yeah, no, From the very no. beginning, no, 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 no. All right, we're going to have a... Uh, uh, he demand a uh, select Senate committee. All right, okay, it was given to them. And that they want, uh, uh, they want the Prime Minister says it's going to be three. They two. want to be uh -huh. and, and the Prime Minister says, I'm willing to bring down the three to two. They said no immediately. It has to be yeah. a lot. You can't, you can't tell the Prime control Minister. and tell the Prime Minister what to do and how <laughs> to do it, man. Is that like you know I what I mean? Do you know what I mean? That's what I mentioned oh, yesterday. Yes. I mentioned yesterday that. And I said, they, I said, we, as Belizeans, are fortunate that we could get so close to a prime minister, you know. But we don't want to big them up to such a point that it's a privilege. It's, 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 that it's a, you know. Because, because, because in some countries, this Luke Palacio, he named me and got the chance to talk to the president and the prime minister yet until he knew where he was. But the fiercy, the fiercy, 
You understand where they come from? We have privilege, and, and I think they take advantage of these privileges that you could sit down and actually negotiate with the, the leader of the nation. I believe that this is when you should you should have interested parties, other interested parties, like the churches and the, what you call it, talking, trying to talk some sense into the union. Because all of them <coughs> remain conveniently quiet That's and true. just look on. And then you but know, the government is faced with the battle of doing it all by itself. And it drones. would seem to be as if it's a and if it's a one man battle because it's only the Prime Minister. That's you. I am I, 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 I am sorry. I am sorry that he has gotten to this point. I think I think that I think that um, if if the politics look on play I think that what should happen is that each minister, each air representative from the United Democratic Party and the UDP and its government should get up and start working in division, and find their teachers in division, and find out where they go on. Talk to them. Exactly. They need to do some ground work. But stop being so damn passive and dormant. They need to, because I don't know. Only thing left make Luke do that put in him on ballot paper. Because, but, you, but you see, the amount of respect that we you have know? for teachers is such that nobody wants to be seen going against the, 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 the what you call it. Nobody, well, in my view, is labeled as two LS. I, I, I share the same sentiment like Emmanuel. Would. People text me and cuss up me by my phone. I mean, not being in no mind because you know what? I I I not say I against the teachers. I am not against the teachers. I stand in solidarity with the prime minister to tell the teachers that they have a right to do what they want. And so, but this man look. That's why I ain't say the union again. Look, Palacio. I ain't say the union. Look, Palacio, I ain't say the union. Again. Look, Palacio, I ain't say the union look, the leader of down the wrong road. Sugar City man, is you hello? Yeah, buenos dias, Benon. Buenos dias. Buenos días, Mr. Martínez. Buenos días a ti, ¿cómo estás? Aquí estamos acá, bien, gracias a Dios. Eh, solo quería comentar algo acerca de este problema que tienen ahorita los maestros. Cuéntame, cuéntame. Ajá. Yo pienso de que esta cosa es pura política, ¿sabes? Claro que sí. Martínez. Claro que sí, claro que lo es. Es, es pura política del de, de gobierno, la, la oposición con los maestros. Yo pienso de que, ¿por qué solamente nomás cuando nuestro gobierno está en poder? Los maestros comienzan con salario y salario y salario y no están dándole su educación a los niños como se les es merecido. ¿Te recuerdas tú cuando el anterior primer ministro, creo que era Said Musa, les congeló el salario a los maestros? Correcto que sí, correcto. ¿Y se lo voy a? Y, y, ajá, y entonces, ¿y por qué es el motivo ahora de que nosotros, eh, estos... Estos maestros ahora se voltean, se rebelan contra de nuestro gobierno. ¿Por qué? Que cuando era Saimusa la persona, ¿quién les, les quitó ese privilegio a ellos? ¿Mm? Entonces, este, ahora yo me doy cuenta de que ya esta cosa es pura política. Es pura política. Sí, es política. Y es lo, una y política lo... sucia. Exacto. De parte, de parte de la oposición y los maestros. Sí, correcto. Es, sí. Una, es un esfuerzo entre los dos. Para que sí. hacer ver mal al gobierno. Sí, correcto, correcto. Pero yo pienso de que el gobierno no se dé el brazo a perder. Que siga adelante porque él es el que está en el timón de este barco. No es el PUP, es el UDP. Exacto. Gracias, sí. señor. Ah, buenos días. Buenos Buena días. perspectiva. Y, Manuel, let me, let me just... To the chair, explain to people the, the, the tactics that look Palacio... I no longer said the union because the union consists of everybody and, and believe me, I know everybody there with me. But look, Palacio, they use some tactics for people. Like last night when I watched the news and I heard him talking about Belize and, and governing. So, all right, if you know the call for one, that what one of the suggests, right? Look, they talk about um, good governance and better country we live in. A, what the hell solution? <coughs> Put back then see a bunch of tea for me there in there. Johnny Afinenko, that that for you, you know they give a solution, but you look at the head. 
you understand? We have a check for your record and him. They remember him dealing some big building or something or some radical thing or anything. But check this out. We're trying to make people understand exactly how they behave. Uh, remember when the association was strong as Kane Farmers, Kane Farmers Association? Everything that we know. This is what the Prime Minister said. The first demand was for a Senate inquiry. They were not satisfied when government agreed to do this. Rather, they started quarreling with the com composition of three senators. Composition of the Senate Select Committee that government would support. In order to accommodate them further, I accepted that government would have two rather than three senators on that committee. They had first said it was okay, but then insist insisted on coming back to the matter after we had moved on they rejected what they had already agreed you see they called for a senate committee they get it the select committee they get it they number one the prime minister put three udp so the prime minister take off one they agree to it and then when they come back they disagree to it am i right what did it take the nation for? Kunu Munu? What do you want? You want to make Johnny, Coriel, and Musa sit down on the committee? That's what you want? Along, along with him, how the next one, she where they, where they get smart now? Um, Valerie Woods? Or maybe Luke, or he could appoint Luke as a senator. And he goes, that's what you want? That's what you want? You want to you want? Because you know, agree upon... The committee, the parents said, all right, boom, we're going to do that. Fine. Then he said, we, we don't want to put three. You follow? We don't want three. The prime minister said, all right, we'll take up one and give them two. Agree to that. Then they come back and they don't want that again. We don't want, maybe they want to look be a senator. Maybe they want Janice. They, they, want a full, they can't expect a full... PUP slate for run the thing went on the UDP that the government demanded. Huh? Madness? Madness? I don't know how you see. Well, I I know and I know and tell you about the future goals and why name. Maybe <laughs> maybe that's in their agenda. I wouldn't be privileged to talk about that. But at the end of the day, I like to see it as it is and. Um, I think that one of the things which the Prime Minister said, and very clearly he said it, he says, this is the back story which causes me to repeat, ladies and gentlemen, that the BNTU leadership, the BNTU leadership is being unreasonable. Is being unreasonable. They are utterly unjustified in holding parents to ransom, even when as much as 75% of the political demands have been met. <coughs> and I think that he was very modest, because at the same time, yeah, I would have added in a holding the government at ransom. I am um, in other countries. This would have taken different turns. What? Long time. This would have taken different turns. Um, I'll be honest with you, but but um, I I think that at the end of the day, Mr. Palacio needs and the leadership needs to be more flexible and needs to be more reasonable. Which they don't want to be okay. flexible but and reasonable. It's a political politically convenient game they're playing because this. Is this is what happens when you are on a political agenda? This is exactly what happens when you're on a political agenda. You know what I mean? Look, not a teacher, or he is a farmer. Teacher. Well, he needs to be a teacher for him to be on the on the union. I wonder if he got a school today, <laughs> or rather, which school he went to. <laughs> you see, man, one of the things where some teachers is to settle like. All and then strike and show you know they have to make up back that in a class down the road. Well, you know, I 
I didn't want to. Um, I didn't want to. I didn't want. I didn't want to mention this, but I think that. If they're talking about having strikes for so many days, like and days and days, it will rebound, you know. You have to because when when it does settle, this is a believe you know. Believe me, we're not going we're not going to bloodshed like Guatemala and any place. So the far from that. But when it settle, and I know some teachers were saying the red, they saying when they go and strike, we look for call class. Cause we know they come back in December like what the call said yesterday. Uh -huh. come give no extra class three, four days in at the holiday went down at Christmas time and anything like so. Exactly. And when you get the reports and you see that the kids have done work, have done have not done as good as you would have wanted or liked. Because every day <coughs> counts. I don't need to remind you, but every day counts. Every day the kids learn something new. Okay? And there is a curriculum that needs to be adhered to. Mm -hmm. Now, the teachers know that. And I think that I'm up, I, at the end of the day, I don't know if they feel guilty at the end of the day of, or, or feel justified in what they're doing. I believe that there is an element of, um, of not being satisfied with the whole way that things are working. You know, where people are calling for one week. You know, at one point they were saying that it's one week of strike that they're calling for, mm -hmm. and indefinitely. I mean, I'm, I. So my it remember. It will. Rebound? It will show. Yes. Show. So my sister remember that Luke Payaso ran for mayor in Dangriga under the PUP. When was that that he ran? PG. The PG. When? When? Why I can't really remember the date, but I know him in the day. He the mayor, mayor. PUP mayor. Well, so he have he have an agenda. Well, another thing, another so thing is that the PUP, the PUP go has a way of positioning themselves, the land. Yes, in every single social organization and be at the helm, you can see them in every single. That's just their strategy. And you know when Luke talk on the news, that just like quarrel. Didn't you say? And I think that they quoted him again. And and, and they quoted like him again. They quoted him again, and he says. Um, when they come out and they meet him, they come out look like a madman. But the man, the quarrel with the prime minister, like when you said Dean Barrow to that man, that like you're the choke grandma zone in a face. Is the council of managers satisfied with those responses? And I think they're here, literally. I believe, I believe, I'm not casting as Persians, but literally, the media house is playing a joke on Luke Palacio. <laughs> he says, you don't understand what I just said, though? <laughs> what I said just now? You know, yeah. and in that tone of voice, the man is one, clearly, he go like, you know, you know, whole piece of stick, and beat you, you know? You I said I'm going back to discuss the response. You didn't understand I what I just said. Uh -huh. You know? Yeah. All it takes is for you to repeat <coughs> exactly what you just said, man. Be courteous, be civil. But you don't have to go on like that. But that is very revealing of the kind of person that he is. Yeah. It is very showing true revealing. colors. It is showing true colors. Yeah. You and and like I, mean? I say, how, how you, when you like when you said Dean Barrow to this man, I like Poison. You know, it is obvious to me. Maybe I'm wrong, but the way I see that like, he have a personal thing for, 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 for the throne, the Barrow. I don't know what the thing he think he did, I Barrow. think that uh, I, don't know what the the day, day, I don't know. Maybe I'm sure that the man, Duke Palacio, is well read and well versed in, in the solidarity movement around the world. And I guess maybe he must be encouraged by what he has read and what he knows goes on in other countries. I am pretty sure of that. But believe me, this is a first for Belize. This is a first for Belize. And, um, and I think that at a certain point, it's unwarranted. Sometimes you go like, good Lord, maybe I shouldn't have even asked the question do you want to defer the, 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 the salary increase? Mm -hmm. What if he hadn't? What if the Prime Minister hadn't? 
with Lut Palacio? Was it just like uh, uh, a situation in waiting where you just capitalized on it, Mr. Palacio? <laughs> was, that, was that it? You were just waiting for this to happen because you have a political agenda? You know? That's what I feel. But I, 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 but at the end of the day, guys, um, I just want to tell I, you I that... Wanna, I want to read this text ahead, that you yes. got here. It says, Look, Palazzo refused in a nutshell the negotiations that were already agreed by them already then the Prime Minister should say that every day that they go to strike, they don't get paid. No, they don't get paid. And Luke Palacio should be held responsible for their losses since Luke Palacio refused to negotiate with the Prime Minister. Well, they don't get paid. There is an agreement that says that every day that they don't go to work shall be removed. It sh it, they go the government can reduce it from their salary. He said the teacher is not mine. I, I want to know when they start to feel it in your pocket. And you know, a lot of them poor teachers and got their mortgage. They pay down budget out before it come, month to month. It's a bad, it's a bad, and, and the people then don't pay me in street need for city. You know, Emmanuel? So when you start to play, people pay. But, but Emmanuel, you see, I think you said something very at the beginning we described the prime minister easy going and like the prime and when i think of the prime minister I say he said these people are not these people are serious so they tell you that the prime minister not they underestimate their neither can the prime minister tell you that, excuse me these people are serious but i i would say as a prime minister and the leader of the nation they are yet to see his hard side. And you know, I don't know if they want to reach to that stage there. I know they make no song like no threats. I, I personally wouldn't want the PM turned away neither. But as a leader, at some point, you know, you sometimes have to put down all the iron hand, iron fist sometimes. Because I think the Prime, me personally believe the Prime Minister, um, <clears throat> maybe that because of age or you know he not hundred percent physically, but I think that then it take him likely. Luke, not the union, because Luke make all the decision and then he make it sound like all the teacher. But I think Luke they take this man likely, you know. You know, and and we don't want the prime minister show the next deck of cards you know, look good, because that all happen in a negotiation. Yeah, oh, yes. happen in a yeah, happen in a union union quarrelling with the government and or administration idea. These things happen. So right now, while you hear look the talk about demands and demands and demands and this and that, what happen if the prime minister put down some demands though? Alright, you want this? Give me that. And the prime minister not do that. The prime minister they try accommodate them, which is out of the eight points, but every time they say yes, we are do this and come back and say, no, we change your mind, we don't want it. So, so what do you want? What do you, what do you want, Luke? You want the Prime Minister to wake up on morning and say, all right, enough is enough. That fight you want to fight, make a fight. We don't want to reach that stage. Ten minutes away from eight o'clock, we take a commercial break and we'll be right back. Julia says Pat says police beat him up during the incident that he caused at the house meeting. I've gotten beaten up by the police forces. Come on, they beat me up, that's cool. And they beat me up. He even filled out a medical report for the police. But, lucky for us, he didn't know what all was caught on tape. Damn! Is Julius telling the truth? You be the judge. Digifans get more, so much more. And when you're a Digifan with a combo plan, everyone talks free. Free nights, free weekends, more data on the country's largest 4G network, and the best call rates as low as nine cents a minute. They get more ways to show who they are in more places on more phones. And with the most affordable plans in the country, they get it for less. Be a Digifan, get more. 
Yeah. I'm a digi fan. I'm a digi fan. I'm a digi fan. Because I get more. Because I get more. Because I get more. Always more with Digicel. Expect more, get more. Always more with Digicel. Can the Accommodation Agreement Award portion be used to fund government projects? Well, Mr. Man, no. Eamon Courtney, no. he did it, he said no. no. Well, no. make I set the record straight. Out of all the money where the court award for BTL, the biggest amount that for the illegal accommodation agreement with Musa and the PUP they sign. Hmm. When the government and Ashraf Ghana court, the two said me agree that the money from the accommodation agreement me want put in our charitable trust for fund projects for the Belizean people. But not take my word for it, a director saw in this document with sign, the Telemedia Acquisition Settlement Act. Make I read it for you now. The balance shall be applied in accordance with such requests for grants as the government may reasonably make to fund projects to help the people of Belize. That clear as day. Stop listening to people no. with the power no. Ashcraft payroll. No. The record set. Boom! On Friday, August 26, 2016, one member's behavior brought shame to the entire country. What is your problem, Mr. Speaker? They pay you, pay you and to black me, and that that's what impossible. they pay you for. You're going to tell me? You're going to tell me? You're going to tell me? It's a joke. It's a joke. Are Julius and the PUP ready to leave? Sir, but you're asking for rules to be followed elsewhere. You're not following the rules. You're not following the rules. You're not following the rules. When was the last time you got anything free? Well, with Digicel's new improved combo plans, now everyone talks free. With free talk in every plan and even more data for the same low monthly price. I mean, who doesn't love free? Free Sundays with our light plan. Free weekends with our plus plan. Free nights, weekends and free calls to your circle with our elite and max plans. And even more free 4G data in our light plus and elite plans don't have a plan it's easier than ever with low or no deposit for qualifying customers still the best plans in the country come in and start getting more expect more get more always more with digicel let's start they see you and how you're living Bust. Always a star Yes, you live in color to the limit Bust. Large and in charge <laughs> Yes, that's why you rock with Busta Bust. Refreshing range of colorful flavors Always a star, never the audience You run things, things never run yours Bust. Yes, you are the life of it Not just a part of it Your life is never black and white Live in full color, Busta You know your baby is happy when wearing baby and pampers. Baby and pampers in all sizes. Baby and pampers make your baby happy. Available at German Vega and Sons. Mr. Bresenio claims that he wants to imprison anyone named in immigration wrongdoing. Once we get into government, we are going to go through this and anybody that can be held yeah. criminally liable, we are going to hold them liable yeah. and if they have to go to jail, yeah. they are yeah. going to go yeah. to jail. Yeah. Is it not? Is it not? But even government. your name is there. Yeah, I signed. I signed. I for, for recommending a visa. I signed. It's an international person. I can't remember. I have no but idea. it's there in the visa one. That's my point. It's in the visa one. So, uh, I think that's. I saw it once. I saw it. I saw it. I did not. I don't remember ever. Please, so many pitch. Are Johnny and the PUP ready to leave? Let's get ready to rumble. Get serious, get off. Johnny Briseño and the PUP went to Bamapan to declare all their assets to the National Assembly. But did they declare everything? Where are those millennials? Those people have been millions of dollars over the 10 years and we only got up there. How many people have been on the show? Imagine that you're talking. That's how you know that's the language. Tony Magacos. Give me a kiss. 
Yes, Johnny, bring back the people's money. Welcome back to the Sugar City Morning Show. Emmanuel, I've been asking for this for last week, and I just want to repeat it again, because I'm curious to know. Uh, maybe, I don't know if you share the same views as I do sometimes, but what are going on with the parents? We're not hearing nothing much from parents. I think that um, the parents have a lot of respect for the teachers. <coughs> mm -hmm. And at this moment, they are being... Quiet. They are being quiet, purposefully quiet, because really they are saying, you know, the teachers, they need their increase as mm -hmm. much as everybody else. And I can guarantee you that the parents are going to be the driving force in the decision when the, the, the increase is given to the, te to the teachers. Because but, but, but no, like no goes fool you. No, like no goes fool you. The teachers are going to get their increase. But but Michael, Michael, Michael go back and remind everybody. The Prime Minister no said and then I get it. Nobody never said remember the whole thing starts, you know? With the asking if you could work with it and wait a little bit for your increase. Give it till the next fiscal year. Couple months from now. And then we are work as due to reasons beyond our control. Hurricane all the money of a P. Ashcraft, like the PUP. We can't and thank you money. for reminding me because we have to talk openly about that. And also the super, super burn. Superman done dead in the movie and we still got super burn. You understand? We still go so with a more bloody hero than he. But a bad hero when he did it. So, what I'm saying is that nobody never said that they're not getting money. No, when they go, to the teachers, the union members, and say, listen, PM say, so and so and so, they come back, no, with one answer, they saying, we will wait, we want to strike. We need to strike. The Prime Minister but who the quarrel do you look? How we reach to that stage? And then you see that tactfully then, he added on and said, Oh, we have an eight-point thing. Because he was aware of the fact that the Prime Minister had never said that they were not going to get the eight points. He added the eight points. And then he added the eight points. When he realized that it looked like, how you call it, Lee Klong was sitting outside of the king? The king? The gesture? The, 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 the joker, the court joker. The, 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 the court joker. Uh, the when he realized that that's so he looked because all the teachers said, but that's true, you know. Who the go but the man then he come with a eight point thing. Then you hear the PSU and the other utility union decide well we and wait. Because we understand the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister say this that and PSU they say, listen, we know where they go and kinda we did do this work. And we did do the physical labor. Twelve thousand members work for government workers, no? And we see so we we could wait. No, he not depend that. He got power stand up Belize or win back Belize or our 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 army country back campaign. And then he came up with the eight points. When the Prime Minister sit down in there and he said, Alright, so and do the some of this thing, yes we are going to come back. And they say, what the hell you want? I tell you, like I say, man, I mean, not they say the union again, you know, because when you say the union, they feel like you're against the teachers. <coughs> but to me, this is a look in action. Look the power high. Look the power adrenaline rush. You know, Ortega on board, Johnny on board, and Johnny, Johnny, they call for, for, for more support. 
Gianni don't know a shadow cabinet. You know? And, and, poli and how, politi and how politically convenient it is for the POP. For how the teachers, we got your back. We got your back. Uh, you think Said Musa could ever stand up and holler, we got your back? He and do it because they don't care. They, and when and they want to shout a reminder and tell her, remember that you said the freeze for we wages. Let me just give you, let me just give you a little bit of perspective here, because we have a responsibility for our people who speak Hispanic, with your permission. Okay. It's obvious, friends. Let me just give you a little bit of perspective here, because we have a responsibility for our people who speak Hispanic, with your permission. Okay. It's obvious, friends. Let me just give you a little bit of perspective here, because we le pediste, le hiciste una pregunta en realidad, no le pediste, le hiciste la pregunta, ¿considerarías el, el, el retraso del, del incremento del 3% para el otro año abril? ¿Considerarías? Una simple pregunta que le pidieron a la, al liderazgo de la Unión, referirlo a la audiencia, en, a, a la membresía en general, y esa pregunta es lo que ha traído hasta ahora el, el, la, la, esta situación que yo creo que hasta cierto, cierto punto es esa, ¿qué es la palabra que debo decir en español? No merita, no merita lo que está sucediendo. La bueno, lo que sucede. Obviamente, si el gobierno te hizo la, la, la te presentó la, 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 hizo la pregunta, es porque tiene ciertos compromisos económicos, ¿ok? Y la gente no, quizás no sabe la cantidad de dinero que el gobierno ha tenido que sacar para asistir a los, a los damnificados del, del huracán. La gente que han sufrido daños. Si, se, se, estima, si se, se, se pone, se cuantifica el daño, estamos hablando de casi 180 millones de dólares o en exceso de daños a propiedad, estructura o daño agrícola. Porque uh -huh. No hagas que nadie te, 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 uh, te diga al contrario. Hubo daño y hubo daño fuerte. Hay ciertas áreas en San Carlos y en, uh, aquí en el distrito de Rinjoa donde se perdió gran cantidad de maíz, frijoles, se perdió papaya, se perdieron verduras, ¿eh? cantidad maíz, bueno, ya lo dije. Así que tiene que haber un esfuerzo. Los del otro lado rápidamente dicen, dicen simplemente, ok, pues compañeros, y ya botaron el dinero de Pecho Caribe. ¿Por qué no utilizaron el dinero de Pecho Caribe? El dinero de Pecho Caribe no se malgastó. El dinero de Pecho Caribe se, se, se utilizó para carretera y infraestructura. Right, 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 okay? right, right. No como el Superbond. Cuando, los pre cuando prestaron tantos cientos de millones de dólares y no tuvimos absolutamente nada que ver. Y que hasta el día de hoy todavía seguimos pagando. Uh -huh. Pero regresando a lo que les quiero decir, ¿por qué se encontró el gobierno en una situación difícil? Uno, se encontró en situación difícil porque ya no tenemos el lujo de decir que ya el dinero acumulado en Pecho Caribe, aunque siempre está funcionando Pecho Caribe, pero no tenemos la acumulación como lo tuvimos hace unos años. Segundamente, Compañeros, escuchen bien, hemos tenido que pagar, o vamos a tener que pagar 234 millones de dólares Million. para Allocation Agreement, you, y BT, Accommodation Agreement. You know, si preguntas, ¿qué es ese Accommodation you know, Agreement? You know, I wonder if people understand what the 234 million dollars Ahí está 10 veces el, o, o la cantidad de salario para todos los maestros para todo un año. ¿Ok? Y eso es lo que atenta, va a tener que pagar. ¿Y tú sabes qué es este accommodation agreement? Es un resultado de la corrupción del Said Musa, porque él es el que firmó este trato con Michael Astro, dándole tanto y dándole tanto y dándole tanto. ¿Ok? 
por 19 millones de propiedades que quizás nunca existió. Así que estamos en la situación ahorita difícil simplemente por, otra vez, la corrupción del PIB. Ahora, es tan irónico que tan de repente me digas de que es el UDP que está malgastando el dinero cuando en realidad estamos sufriendo las consecuencias de la corrupción del PIB. Decirle, I agree with you. You see people want the PUP look they don't understand why we're in this situation. They understand but they don't want you to know that. Pero están tomando ventaja del, del, de que la gente no conoce todos los detalles. Y simplemente va y rápidamente juzga a los bienes y dice, ah, ya botaba el dinero. Ya de, va a gastar el dinero. Compañeros, ustedes escuchan las noticias a diario. Escucharon que el valor de BTL solo era 102 millones de dólares, pero que la cantidad del accommodation agreement que fue firmado por Musa para Michael Lashkov era 230, era, no, wow, con interés, 234 millones de dólares. Uh -huh. ¿Ah? ¿Qué Ahora, un caso completamente distinto, y hay nadie que me pueda decir que no es así. Que si no tuviéramos que pagar 234 millones de dólares, qué diferente. No tuviéramos que pedirle, pe, preguntarle a los maestros si quieren atrasar el pago. Quizás hasta lo hubiera dado más. Pero pónganlo en perspectiva, compañeros. Pónganlo en perspectiva. No es culpa del PUDP que tenemos que pagar tanto para BTL. But, but Manuel, more importantly, is that. Johnny and the PUP, then why you forget this? Sí, por eso estoy haciendo un esfuerzo en particular para recordárselo a la gente. Then why you forget the one? Listen to me, this thing that not like when you go to shop in the last year, my two dollars, you know, this thing that millions of dollars, billions of dollars on the heart we, and then why we forget it and say, All right, man, I could just give him another chance for what? That's why the seven look, they make a lot of noise and no one uh, come to the table and agree. What, what of he, are the talk about better governance and better, co uh, what are your proposal? Put back the same bunch of teeth, no matter your colleagues in enough for position, for office? No, man. No. I, 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 I got, got through with the Spanish thing, no, because I just more. Uh, You know? Pero, compañeros, eso es simplemente un poquito de información para poner esto en perspectiva. El gobierno simplemente le pidió a los maestros, una, hizo una pregunta. ¿Considerarías el atraso del incremento hasta en abril? Uh -huh. Es todo. Considerando que dos cosas. Uno, tenemos muchos gastos de, de ayuda al, a los damnificados. Y, segundamente, pues tú... Es, es las noticias, como digo, estás muy eh, informado de que el famoso accommodation agreement fue cuando se le dio accommodation a Michael Ashcroft. Uh -huh. ¿Eso no el PUDP lo hizo? Compañeros, estamos sufriendo las consecuencias todavía aún de la gran corrupción del PUP. Cuando Said Musa firmó, sin que sepa nadie más en el gobierno, sin que nadie más sepa, ni su ministro, eh, ni Carla Barnett, que era, estaba trabajando en el ministerio entonces, sabía eso. Y digo Carla Barnett porque era la persona encargada de todos los números en el gobierno. Uh -huh. Para pensar de que Said Musa le dijo a, a Michael Asco, le firmó, diciendo, uno, no vas a pagar impuestos, dos, te estoy, eh, te estoy dando libertad, para que cobres lo que tú quieras cobrar para BTL en tus cobros, en tus, eh, en tus tarifas. Te doy carte card blanche para cobrar lo que tú quieras mientras que tú consigas el, 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 la ganancia que tú quieras. Esto es un hecho, compañeros. Y sobre todo les digo que si no hace la ganancia que piens que le gustaría conseguir, de que el gobierno se lo va a dar. ¿Y saben qué, compañeros? Aplicaron dos años por 18 millones de dólares y todo eso es parte del accommodation agreement. Que hoy en día se tiene que pagar, pero era 
es el resultado de Said Musa. Ahora, quiero que ustedes lo pongan en perspectiva. ¿Tú, doctor, qué harías con 234 ¿Eh? millones de dólares? Tío? Dada, y mi ¿Ah? 234 millones de dólares. ¿Cómo se dice eso, Edgar? ¿Qué es lo que se dice? Y sobre todo, que las veces tenemos que pagar el Super Bowl. Super Bowl, ¿no? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Y, y la gente dice, ah, no me digas el Super Bowl, esa madre, ya, ya estoy cansado de escucharlo. Cansado, la verdad. Pero lo estamos don? pagando todavía un compañero. Y no pierde. Lo seguimos pagando cada año. Ya. Yeah. Cada año lo seguimos pagando. ¿Cómo se pierde la ganja? 70 millones, 80 millones, y entre poco va a ir subiendo. Yeah. A ¿Y 10 millones ahí? ¿Ah? A 100 millones. Uh, y, 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 y mira, ya no tienes el ingreso de, 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 de petróleo, ya no tienes los ingresos acumulados de Pecho Caribe, ¿no? ya hay recesión. Entonces, ¿qué esperas? Ser flexible, man. Pero de Manuel, cuidado. Without that, it's pressure with the government. 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 Without that, it's pressure with the What four hundred million US yes, dollars? Yes, about four hundred million. Yes. Which is very tight for the country. But then the but remember, the PUP was in office. Uh -huh. Remember when the PUP was in office and the reserve got at twenty-five million dollars? I went down lower than that. And the Musa, twenty-five. Look at the look at the response. That's why the prime minister could say, "With dollar still strong." Uh -huh. Ustedes saben de que ahorita el gobierno está preocupado oh, porque solo tienen 400 millones de dólares en el banco en, 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 en Nueva York para mantener la estabilidad del dólar. Pero, ¿ustedes se recuerdan? No sé si quizá lo recuerden, pero ¿ustedes sabían que cuando el Musa estaba en la oficina había bajado acá a menos de 25 millones de dólares? Anda 25. Ah, ¿ustedes sabían eso? Muy en Musa, ya no me lo en el country. You only enjoy it, no? Musa and Johnny will run the country. We got under 25 million US dollars. Dollars Americanos eran difícil de conseguir. Ni siquiera podías comprar el banco. Tenías que esperar por meses. Hasta when they tell like for Ashcroft, no, and they say Ashcroft take all the money and send it to England. Le dieron a Ashcroft permiso para sacar el dinero que él quiera de Belice sin pagar un dólar de impuesto. Mientras nosotros aquí tenemos que, si compramos 100 dólares de dólar americano para mandar a comprar algo a los Estados Unidos, tienes que pagar impuestos, foreign exchange duty. Pero el bendito Michael Ashcroft no pagaba nada. <risa> ¿Ah? ¿Tú crees que eso es correcto? ¿Y sabes qué? Secret, eso está firmado. Secret accommodation. ¿Y tú crees que Michael Ashcroft lo olvidó? No, lo estamos sufriendo todavía aún. Y esto es... Por eso es importante que la gente hable más de esto. Sí, que Pero muchas veces que no saben no quieren hablar de ello. Pues infórmense. Yeah. Infórmense. Y Manuel, this is what I said, right? When, 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 all right, listen here. When people like me or you open the mouth, the ones who don't agree are always say we one side. But I always tell myself One side like, on the world and cost me a bar, kind of <laughs> But check this out. Sometimes, all right, let's say, for example, you would uh, take a bunch of highly educated people. Well, you know that that man is smart, a uh, teacher, uh, educator, he's smart. And what you they say, all you just said about why we're in this problem. And you then just bypass all the information just for two on party line. I see where you're getting at. Then you're like, when are you so smart that we got your education on your foot? Or you make I wonder, like, how they look by you, like, you crazy, they talk that? Or, or they just love their party so much that they want to say, man, or they promise them something when they get. I, I'm I don't so know glad you mentioned that because <laughs> there are people right now listening yeah. and saying the same of thing. Of course. 
listen to me carefully. You watch them, like for example, again, I will be careful because then, first thing I tell you, against the teacher. So now I not against no teacher, but what Emmanuel is say and what I keep saying about why we're in this position, we never make it up. <laughs> you understand? You know who put it, you know who, who created all this? The PUP create everything what we need to say. Because because of them and their stupidness and a thiefery and a corrupted act, we the in this position, so we are forced to say it. But when educated people know the truth and they just PUP all the way, we want more, then I wonder like is it worth it for me to continue talking to you? It's not worth it, believe me. You understand me? It's not worth it. Is it worth it's, it for it's me? Not worth should it. I should I sit here and just say, take a lick then? But because of you want take a lick so much, we no we no understand, we we'll feel it. Mm -hmm. Then we got lone chief. Indians we no got chief. Sugar cinema and show hello. Gracias. Hello. Morning, morning. Vaya, aquí, vaya, aquí tranquilo. Mira, tengo una, um, solo es una opinión. Um, morning, morning. Morning. Bájame el número de tu televisión, por favor. Okay, hello. Hello. Les pedimos, por favor, por favor, por favor sí. cuando nos llamen, se los repetimos. Y va a llegar un punto cuando vamos a dejar de entretener llamadas cuando tienes puesto el volumen alto. Porque, ¿qué sucede? Es de que, compañeros, hay un atraso en la señal cuando tú escuchas por teléfono a cuando tú escuchas por televisión. Yes, man, please. Y entonces, so, ¿qué sucede? Es de que ya no, ya no tenemos una, ya dejamos de tener una conversión telefónica, sino tú estás contestando lo que estás escuchando por la radio, por la televisión. Y no es, no se puede hacer así, compañeros. Bajas el teléfono, del, el volumen del televisor, del radio, y escuchas y platicas con nosotros a través del teléfono, por favor. Porque si no, lo perdemos. So, I was saying, Emmanuel. When you deal at this Spanish level, then, you know, I mean, like, if you, all right, you have some friends who are PUP. A lot of friends who are PUPs. In all levels of society. Mm -hmm. And then you meet someone, you, you know, they discuss this thing in a subtle manner, and you just repeat some of what you say, and then they know that you know they talk nonsense, you know, but then just refuse to say I got you where they say, we have to do something about it. They not depend on that. <laughs> I always say that, um, I always say that egoism is the, is the major reason why we have so many problems in this world. Because really, it's born out of a failure to accept the problems as they are <coughs> and to take responsibility for the problems as they are presented to you. Mm -hmm. Big man is one who says, Yo lo hice, yo soy responsable, mi mea culpa, mea culpa. But, but notice. Pero aquel que dice, no, yo no lo hice, no lo hice, y se libera. But notice how Johnny Brissena de come off. He didn't try to come off like the big man. Because he's not the one when they say, the people don't punish you for three terms already. So you admit, he did try to use, what do you call it, reverse psychology power, you know? Yeah, well, boy, yeah, Johnny, Johnny don't accept that they do bad. So, no, for them bad, boy, look here, we ain't pay for that. If we grand pick, then they ain't pay for that. But with the, with the peer, you know? If we great grand people, and people that said, ten years afterwards, you still they blame the PUP. Well, let me tell you something. Yeah, I going to my grave, and and and, and my, my family well, left to run the affairs. They want continue to blame the PUP because because of them we in this mess. 
Imagine how, what you could do to make people understand where they go on the bigger picture. All of them distraction and this strike and you and know, just to move the attention away from from the fact that no, no, you know what happened that the time is upon us when we have to pay back all of them money wasted by the PUP. Will you feel it now? Yo, yo honestamente creo que yo más no más no más no está la gente. Johnny said, where's the millions? Bring back the millions. Listen to this carefully. Mm -hmm. Some people say, Bye, back in the day when PUP may run things, money may roll. This may happen. We used to make it. Fine. But you don't know where you may come from. Mm -hmm. But you don't know that when they get 10 million, they take, five, they take 500,000, I sprinkle it like black pepper over Escabeche. <laughs> Wait, so. Pan the poor. And then they take the 9.5 and pack it this way. And we're happy. We never did know that down the road. They say that like when you go to the palm shop. You go to the palm shop right now. The loan place. They pay the loan place. Boy, look here. You get $1,000 easy. Quick. Quick. <laughs> Happy. Do you have to do? How when you really sit down and watch your paper and find out that you are pay back $1,650 if you default? If you're not default, sorry. If you're not default. If you're not default. So when an amount come and you broke it down in a six months, and you find out you need for car for 300 or 275 to the shop. Then you start to worry. Because last month you never have it. So and you're gonna borrow it. So what make you think you have it this month and you're not spending the money? You never made really think about the consequence. That our catch we we are upon a time now whereby we have Belize have to pay back for the super bond. You have to pay Ashka for a BTL. I have a payback on a lot of things where, where the PUP squandered out. Most of all, where the, tribe, the government, the parents, they try to buy back the assets of the country. And they always say, buy back. You know the talk about give me back. So here, what are going on? All of the sweet so many in giant of the PUP, we they pay for it now. The super bond is here and it is real. Well, things hard, and they talk about government vehicle. But you check out the minister. You check out Johnny Fleet. Johnny vehicle and cost like hundred and twenty thousand dollars, like two and a each. Moves and drive hundred thousand dollars vehicle, fun second, and then they talk about the poor. Why? Yes, they are poor people, but they still they feed off of the millions that they squander out under the term, and you get a leaf 500 like black pepper over Escabeche, and you feel like that and everything, that and everything. Simply, I'm saying that now, 2016 and onward, we are payback, or we the payback for all of their money that the PUP squander, and these things bring problem when you work for a job and you don't used to live a certain lifestyle because you used to put in 40 hours overtime you're happy when they cut your overtime and you can't live that lifestyle like what happened you get frustrated you talk about the boss the chance and this and that but circumstances made it what it is you never put up for a rainy day thank god you got a good prime minister and the man the whole land. The man the whole land. So I'm simply saying, Emmanuel, I don't know if you want to say it in Spanish, but we are paying. We are in a times. We are, pay, we are in a times donde estamos pagando para todos los millones y millones y millones y millones de dólares que bajo el PUP gastaron y no podemos ver en qué y en dónde. 
Pues lo que en los comentarios son un reflejo idéntico a lo que yo había dicho anteriormente. En realidad es... Uh, y la gente estará, bueno, ¿y cómo es de que 10 años después siempre estamos pagando la cuenta del PUP? ¿Y no me quedo Compañeros, déjame decirte una cosa. Uh -huh. Este famoso arreglo, accommodation agreement, era un arreglo clandestino. Nadie, estaba estipulado claramente en el agreement que nadie debía de saber de ello. Uh, Tú no sabías eso, ¿verdad? Tú no sabías eso, que no, nadie podía saber. Nada más era entre Said Musa, Mike Lashcroft y unas dos o tres personas ahí. Y nadie más. Aunque estamos viendo que hoy en día el resultado es 234 millones de dólares. Compañeros, por el amor de Dios, 234 millones de dólares que hoy en día tenemos que pagar por esa indiscreción, por ese robo de dinero, que, que ese, 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 ese arreglo, déjame decirlo en distinta forma, ese arreglo clandestino, cuando le dieron tanto asco, vendiéndole, supuestamente vendiéndole 19 millones de dólares de propiedad, que era, una, era parte de un plan, del desajenante de los 19 millones de dólares, supuestamente él se lo vendiste a Ashcroft, pero se supone que las propiedades no existían o no valían 19 millones de dólares. Así que le tuvieron que dar, tómate este dulcito, este chocolatito, tómate esto, tómate el otro. Hoy en día, cuando Ashcroft está, he's pulling back, está llamando todo, sumó a 234 millones de dólares. Dinero que se pudo haber utilizado para pagar hasta darle un incremento a los maestros. One, one Pero day. esto es el resultado de el PUP. Infórmate. One of the things that we try we try to do on the show here is to break it down in simple terms. Uh -huh. So people go understand. Here we get three years ago under the PUP. You are compared to as simple as Emmanuel want to make a loan from the bank. Check it, go and sign for Emmanuel. Put up a house and lot mm -hmm. for Emmanuel. Right? Emmanuel borrowed the money because he want to invest it and mm -hmm. turn it over. And two years down the road. Esto es un escenario, eh? Two years, <laughs> two years down the road. Check it. Okay, <laughs> two years down the road. No investment. Nobody know where the money gone. No loan to pay to the bank. Where the bank want to call checky? You need to come in because, like the super bond, Emmanuel le eighty thousand dollars in arrears, mm. and if you not pay that immediately, we are sell your house. That only interest, Mr. Checky. We are so, you know the dad was the principal, you know. Aye, aye, aye. Only the eighty thousand. Mm. I don't know where I sell house. So Mr. Checky have a scramble now. Sell a car, sell a cow, sell a dog. If you go try to pay this thing. <laughs> to <a> dog, what? <laughs> Find a dog. If you pay this thing. So, they don't sell a house. It is the same, it is the same thing we catch you with the PUP. Whenever this PUP was in power and they go borrow this money, they sign and now we back me up because of we tax dollar for paid. So we are the guarantors of the, of the loan. Oh. Over the years, They don't do nothing with the money. They don't invest it back in on the people. They don't pay for it. But the loan still the day. If check it pass away, and he can't can say I left the house for his son because his son have to continue to pay your damage. Otherwise, he'll lose the house. So when the embargo come in, he inherit all of this baggage. And the truth is, For Musa and Janine, all this baggage, and the truth is now Dean Barrow have to, along with the Belizean people, have to pay back all of this money. And, and the time come, the time come now, remember, in the last two elections, they made a one about 2017. Remember that? Mm. 2017 are hard, but no way. Jump up for joy. Adelante. Now 2017 is upon us. 
where they feel the lick, and this is why people don't want to accept. Ah, Lily, hundred dollars on a collect for election day. I don't have to give it back because the bill have to pay. All of the mo and the funny thing is that the leave five hundred thousand when it's scattered over the escabeche, we have to give it back. Then I have to give back the millions with Johnny the telling, bring back the millions for all. Thank thing. you. That's exactly what I wanted to say. You know, and sometimes you wonder things happen for a reason, you know. And then you wonder things happen for a reason because at the end of the day, we're very fortunate to have that tip where Johnny says. Bring back the millions. We're fortunate to have that tape where he says, Ro Ro Ba, the thief, tens and tens of millions of dollars. You know? Where did we last so much to the, the way with, with what you call it, when he was explaining it to the young to the other young man on the other on what you call it? And when he goes on national television says, Bring back the millions. John well knows about this. How can we think about put Johnny Brissena for run this country? Okay. How? Oh, you tell me how. Try for me. You see me crosses. Do for God's sake. How? Oh. And a Musa is sit down sign, huh? How oh, we are put back them Bali for around this country? Listen to me. <clears throat> them Bali money so long. Them money so long. That if this country collapse tomorrow, they still want to live better. They not broke. The guy ain't got so much money, he can't get a hole in the bank then I believe. With that, we need, we need to go for a coffee break. Yeah, but can I run dry? Yes, we'll be right back with more for you on the Sugar City Morning Show. Already a hotspot for commercial activities, entertainment and recreation, Belize City will have a massive upgrade with the construction of the $30 million Belize City Center multi-purpose facility by the government of Belize. The idea is that it will be a multi-purpose facility with the emphasis on court sports for the country, but with the ability to branch out, of course, into entertainment and other cultural venues that we would like to see happen within the city of Belize and to also promote throughout the country of Belize other entertainment. Upon completion, the facility will have 4,500 individually molded seats, three wooden courts, four locker rooms, and many other new and exciting amenities for sports and entertainment. The government of Belize is committed to the infrastructural development of not only our cities, but of our country. Your vision, our mission. The Barrow administration has put mechanisms in place to weed out wrongdoing in the Immigration Department. But let us examine what occurred during the PUP tenure. When in September 22, 1992, the permanent secretary in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs was instructed by Syed Musa to write to the Director of Immigration and approve 254 nationality certificates with no oversight, waiving all fees. The certificates bore no photograph of the applicant and there was no record of swearing in and oath having been taken. In several other instances, Syed Musa was written to requesting the waiver of the procedures and fees of many persons applying for nationality. They gave away millions of dollars in revenue belonging to the government of Belize. Julius Espat says police beat him up during the incident that he caused at the house meeting. I've gotten beaten up by the police forces. Some of them beat me up that cool and they beat me up. He even filled out a medical report for the police. But lucky for us, he didn't know what all was caught on tape. Is Julius telling the truth? You be the judge. Digifans get more, so much more. And when you're a Digifan with a combo plan, everyone talks free. Free nights, free weekends, more data on the country's largest 4G network, and the best call rates as low as nine cents a minute. 
they get more ways to show who they are in more places on more phones. And with the most affordable plans in the country, they get it for less. Be a Digifan. Get more. I'm a Digifan. I'm a Digifan. I'm a Digifan. Because I get more. Because I get more. Because I get more. Always more with Digicel. Busta. They see you and how you're living. Busta. Always a star. Yes, you live in color to the limit. Busta. Large and in charge. <laughs> yes, that's why you rock with Busta. Busta. Refreshing range of colorful flavors. Always a star, never the audience. You run things, things never run yours. Busta. Yes, you are the life of it, not just a part of it. Your life is never black and white. Live in full color. Busta. You know your baby is happy when wearing baby pampers. Baby pampers in all sizes. Baby pampers make your baby happy. Available at German Vega and Sons. Mr. Bresenio claims that he wants to imprison anyone named in immigration wrongdoing. Once we get into government, we are going to go through this and anybody that can be held yeah. criminally liable, we are going to hold them liable yeah. and if they have to go to jail, yeah. they are yeah. going to go yeah. to jail. Is it enough? Is it enough? But do even your name is there. Yeah, it's a, it's a, I saw I for recommending a visa. Who? I saw it's a international person. I can't remember. I have no but it's there in the visa one. That's my point. It's in the visa one. So, I think it's a, I saw it once. I saw it. I saw it. I did that. I don't remember ever. Please show me the pitch. Are Johnny and the PUP ready to lead? Welcome back to the Sugar City Morning Show. Seven, eight thirty-nine, Emmanuel. It's twenty minutes before nine o'clock. Yeah. Time flies by so quickly, really, and especially when, especially when uh, you are talking from within. Yeah. You know. Yep. Yep. And yep. trying, trying to address the situation here because our job is. Really, to break it down like you correctly said. Yeah, man. So people can understand. understand. Yep. And to give you an, a, a different perspective if, if, if that's what we figure that you need. Well, we can't convince you. You have to convince yourself. Mm -hmm. That you? We can't convince you. You have to convince yourself. So we and, appeal and, and to your <coughs> conscience. And, and not wrong to make you accept that, you know, the saying, I don't know. Uh -huh. really. But the, the big question is, do we want to go back on that same scenario? Yeah, correctamente, you don't have to. You, it's not a big deal for you to accept. Because a big, the big man is who accepts. Yo, soy esto. Mm -hmm. Eso es lo que te hace un hombre. No negarlo. No negarlo. En mi vida he tenido que confrontar eso. Yeah. Okay? So with that, we have to just... Cool it. No, see what happens next, no? Vamos a ver, pero esa, te juro que esa actitud que tiene el liderazgo de la unión no es bueno. Es cierto que están, están eh, las cosas que pide, esencialmente, son cosas buenas para el país. Yo seré el primero para decirte que sí. Y eso es la razón que el gobierno le, la ha escuchado. Pero no como tú digas, pidas, vas a conseguirlo. Per, perdóname, pero <coughs> tiene que haber una cantidad de flexibilidad de tu parte. De ver que se ha estado adelantando ciertas cosas. Pero también, yo no creo que es dentro de tu derecho... Y aquí estoy hablando al grano, no creo que es tanto, es, es dentro de tu derecho de exigir, demandar y poner 
al gobierno en una situación precaria como lo que está ahora, simplemente y, de, y diciendo que tú, que tú, Luke Palacio y que el BNTU tiene la capacidad de hacer todo esto. Es, es muy cierto que tiene un, un, tiene un rol muy, muy, pero muy importante en esta sociedad. Súper importante porque al final de, del día nadie podría ir en contra de los maestros. Nadie. Pero por el amor de Dios, no uses esa fuerza, esa influencia, ese poder, esa capacidad para fines políticos. No lo uses. Porque luego entonces, cuando la gente se dé cuenta, te va a ir en tu contra, Luke. Cuando se den cuenta que quién es, quién eres, te van a dar cuenta que no debiste haber eh, seguido ciegamente a Luke Palacio. ¿No crees tú? I I, I'm, I'm trying to find something here that uh -huh. before I would see anything that you mentioned, but I, I agree with you. Uh, probably we could shift gears a little bit. Yes, yes, yes. I think you want to touch a little bit about uh, every time. I don't know if I have time to squeeze in the, just quickly, uh, to simmer down the... the well, I mean, you see, the, with the, Arrington before you go into Mr. Arrington, please uh, allow me. I mean, uh -huh. Did you watch the, the documentary with the crazy man? I spared myself the agony. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> But I, I wish you would, though. No, I don't think I... No, you, know know. Why, you know why? I don't know why I... Sorry, I can't use the word that my good friend <laughs> used to describe it. I don't my coffee that. But... <laughs> but I did not say it. But, um... But, good Lord, man. You, you know, I, uh, for, for where I was in good I was dumb tongue in good company talking history of Orange War. Mm -hmm. And, um... I couldn't be bothered. You know what I understand from the whole thing now that I watch. I never watch it Saturday night. Because I, I don't know that craziness, but I seem like I watched it but last night. Sunday never passed. Last night the show again after Channel 5 News. And then I could understand now why they were trying to stop Showtime from documenting this thing. Because the reporter, all the while, I thought the reporter came to do a story on John McAfee by John McAfee. No. She came to do like an investigative report on him, which will re which has revealed a lot of things, the crazy side of John McAfee where people don't know. And that's what they were trying to stop. That's what they're trying. Emmanuel, honestly, I, I would say to you, watch it. Because, you see, she came down and she spoke to a lot of people. Then again, it make I wonder, now that this thing come out, what happened to free judicial system? What happened to free police system? Become a lot of evidence come out. Were they just literally bought over by McAfee? Who, who? who? Is, no. that, is that what you're No, 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 no. What's the question? What's the point you're taking? Talk about no, I did talk about no, I did talk about no that these people have said what they have said in the documentary. Okay, okay, all right. Uh -huh. This one, one man, one man literally said in the in the, in the interview, he said, "Well, I put one and one together, and he paid, he paid the man to to shoot the next man to kill her because he said when by the call he." Pick me up, sir, and he drive, he pick up the young man, which apparently be the gunman, 600 yards from the house that the body was, you know, you know, I two, two o'clock in the morning. Boy, it's so serious. Let me ask you a question. Even, At the even, end of the day, does John McAfee appear vindicated of the accusation, or does he, is, is his name still embroiled in this thing? He's still? He's still? Big? Big. Big, because okay. you see, the, so the, the, good thing the, was, the good thing about the documentary is from the beginning, when the reporter unearthed who is John McAfee. Apparently, John McAfee is sick. He like playing mind games, because even at the early ages, stages, when he fell into his millions and he worked in the office with the people, they used to have games. They, they score points where who have the most sex in the office. 
and all around the office, you know, and and dress up like costume and have wild parties. He used to like manipulate people's mind. And at the same thing where he come down to Belize, and, and I think nobody can tell you a story better than him than the taxi driver. We used to drive around. People has been named in this documentary, man, for example, the young man that was killed in Carmelita, where the taxi man is saying, I bring the man there, but I never knew him going so far. <laughs> Middleton, whatever he's in. You understand me? Mm -hmm. Boy, I don't think I see you, you know? Then I just want to say for those who are watching us on YouTube, please spread the word. No, make, and make everybody know Belize and I know poor country. You can't buy the burger at Belize. So when he talk about people are dead for hunger at Belize and people are kill up each other, he need talk crazy and he make my coffee make Belize look like the, the end of the world. You understand? And the girl say the girl say he's a dangerous man. He, he, the girl the alleged rape. Boy, that I want to see you. I I, I I, I see one different story. That's why I had to tell you, if you would have watched it, Emmanuel, I think you would understand clearly where it come from. You know? No, watch it. No, watch it. <coughs> no, make Chicky tell you. Watch it for yourself. You, and see, you know, tell me watch it, he didn't tell me no watch yeah, it. Well, he watch it, though. Well, uh, well I, uh, I, I can say I never watch it. These days, I, I never watch, watch it this. Saturday because I say, well, yeah, it's a crazy man. And, and for me, no. <laughs> for me, no. If you put it on the internet, John McCaffrey. S-I-H-I-T should have come upside it. Because all of them nasty game they play with their young girl. You know? You should watch it. I mean... Well, I've been told enough of it. But, but again... I've run enough of it on Facebook not to be bothered watching it. The, the, the section when it got to San Pedro, the San Pedro story, that's, that's the interesting part of the, the story. And, and for me... To see these people that we know, Orange Rock is a small place, brother. Orange Rock is a small place. We see people where you know they talk and say, well, they say, well, when I got, I, if I'm going to a house, I may carry my SLR. You know? Yes. SLR. Uh huh. A weapon? Yes, uh -huh. You say, I may carry my SLR because I know he wanted to do me things, so I may do him things too. <laughs> he end up the work for the man. <laughs> but <laughs> as I tell you, I, I watched a thing in a maze last night. I said, what the way go on? You know, then then when they they disguise this guy and they tell you that they gone after the Balea Carmelita and they chase and catch her in the bush and tease her the man and beat up the man, cut him up with a knife. And then the next one said, well, they put him in the back of a pickup and just throw him in the village of Carmelita in front of everybody. Just drop him in front of everybody by the field area, make everybody see. You know, play with the gringo. Call the gringo the car. Two days after. Is it true that the impression was that the impression was that um that uh, he used to pretty much control the people in Carmelita? In the But they got back up the wrong profit tree. And all of this time when this thing happened, you know, he had nothing. Is it, is it because the people of Carmelita used to own up to him and used to go borrow him money? And, and well, it, apparently, and that's, that's apparently, what apparently used to help a lot of people. Because Some people. Because he volunteered the help or help because he was approached? Well, I don't know. I know he pan, pan CTV G News. They used to show how he make donations to stove and refresh to the school. And according to one of the guys in the documentary that he used to help people pay their water bill and the like mm -hmm. bill. That's the one I remember. You know? Said. But because those people went to him. Why the man called in a typical American movie thing. You know, listen to thing in a movie. He made a create for him one movie. The man have a security guard and a camouflage, big guns. The one army, he had the one army. I, I heard stories before the thing when, when he used to come for San Pedro. You could know when John McAfee they come for the plane because then boy I reached in and they Camouflage and then they walk in and the bushes and they run away and they check wrong with a big gun and they, you know, sniper rifle and anything. Boy, we take bad things for laughter, I believe, but when you really see that thing for true, watch that Jules Vasquez talking in the video. You know, they have an next reporter from Belize talking in the video. You know, people really made it 
So with the Guan and, and for my part, I never like how they make a song like for we Belize really, for we release for we Belize Chave and 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 and, and um, poor and this and that and that. You know we know we know they pan that. I could tell anybody that Belize, I did the America already. We know walk in a new restaurant and buy a new burger for dollar. We know buy a new pack of Dove soap for one ninety nine for a dozen. We the one ninety nine for one. We spend big the Belize, and I tell you something: Belize not got poor people. Belize got lazy people. Lazy people because if if you get up and work, then thing will happen for you. If you're lazy or poor, you have to work really, really. So, this I tell you, man. I watch it in Manuel and but like I go check it. Said the San Pedro part that there is the thing get rotted. That guy did. And I can't do without that. I can watch it. Why, but the, for me, it's good that I watch it because I might be listening to talk about. Well. And I read the taxi man say, when the man when he escaped, can he help me escape out of Belize? He said the man like, yeah, he listened to everything. And as he get in at the river, so he know that Guatemala bong, Macafe again, nobody can tell him what it is. <laughs> the man sick, man. The man sick man. The man sick. The man had like seven girlfriends per one house. <laughs> Somebody referred to another documentary as the Belize Donald Trump. <laughs> you have to check it out, man. But again, it make I wonder too. Like I say, it make you question how the policing system stands for true, you know, because the amount of information that come out pana pana that the documentary that very. Serious, like for example, when um, Kashito, Kashito say, when they hold he, they never ask him one question. The police hold him, mm. and they had him lock up. But they not ask him nothing, nothing. And apparently, he, he not say, but he not say that. He gonna pick up a man a certain time at the night. It's that deposit certain money in a man account. Then there are serious information leading up to somebody's death or disappearance. And then he <laughs> claimed afterwards that he lied on the national in the interview. He never, he never said lie. He, oh, on national TV on the news. On the on the, uh, <coughs> on, the on the documentary that, that he was pretty much coerced and manipulated into saying that. That what they say. That that when they say, but that's what he said. When no, he that, said that's that. what I'm saying. When I watch the thing, no, I understand why they wanted to stop it from show. Because McCaffrey never even knew how many con I do. Because he when he when he when the reporter went to meet him in some part of the states in the documentary, <coughs> he was running for some kind of election president. or president or something, right? And the reporter went up to him and said, Hi, Mr. John, how you doing? Watch this now. He said, um, Congratulations. And, oh, thank you. And, oh, yeah, we're going to win because this is the. And the, the girl tell her, Do you know who I am? No. I'm Nina. And Joe, because he only communicated, she back and forth over a whole air by email. And she showed every information when they communicate. So when she introduced herself to him, he jumped. And he said, oh, and these are your people? Yeah, these are my camera people. <clears throat> and he get up and walk off. He said, well, I don't want to be in their camera. And within one hour, he left the building. <laughs> and when he mentioned, oh, he asked him, do you still have contact with people in Belize? He tell her, yes. So who are you? And she introduced herself. My boy said, you know what? Uh, I don't want to pay for no TV. <laughs> Serious thing, man. Dangerously as well. I tell you, man. <laughs> I tell me myself, fear to repeat anything, but it is public knowledge now. Everybody, Everybody know. <clears throat> Everybody know the players in on this thing. And I, I, I believe I that's why they wanted to stop the documentary from coming out because it really. I don't know if if the DPP watch this documentary. If, File charges will be filed or something, but why that serious information? Well, I think out? one of the most overriding things that, that, that yeah, I have that been driver told came out is is the is 
that it was very revealing yes. of who John McAfee yes, is. Yes, that's what I'm saying. And all his sexual fetishes and all his... <laughs> Is uh, Ali Bubu, uh, yeah, Ali do the plane. Where were my friend Kalam tells the Bubu? Why, what do you want to do? How much do you have to say? Nine hundred dollars a day, mm -hmm. nine hundred dollars a day for use a human toilet, mm -hmm. you know. How much so long do the tongue? <laughs> <laughs> Stop making jokes on this because it's so despicable. I mean, I'm not to All right, with that, we will say so long for now. With that, we will say so long for now. Um, trust that you all enjoyed the show this morning. Thanks for all you call. Um, tighten up, Luke, because we're not done. We're going to the full length to make people understand what they drift. Right, the man? With that, I must say for Morris Kokoman yes, exactly Cameras, right. Raheem Wagner Control, our director, Mr. Robert Chekiosha. My name is Dylan Jones. And my name is Emmanuel. Stay safe, Take Belize. Care. Good night. Good day. Morning. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>